Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys a complete breakdown and comparison of the CompTIA Security Plus certification and the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate offered by Coursera and Google. So I just passed the Security Plus exam a couple of weeks ago, and I'm currently taking the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate right now. I'm about halfway finished. And in this video, I want to give you guys a completely unbiased breakdown of each of these certifications to determine exactly which one is going to be a right fit for you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the pros and benefits of having the Security Plus certification. Now, as you guys probably know already, the Security Plus exam is going to be the most popular and industry recognized entry level cybersecurity certification that there is. The reason why the Security Plus has so much value and weight within the industry is because the Security Plus covers so many different concepts when it comes to cybersecurity. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description about all the CompTIA Security Plus objectives and exactly what is covered during the exam. There's gonna be six different domains that cover things like threats and vulnerabilities, technologies and tools, architecture, and even more. And when you're studying for the Security Plus and learning these different domains, you'll learn a lot and memorize so many different terms, uh, port numbers, acronyms, there's so many different things that the Security Plus covers. So although the Security Plus is relatively entry level and really anyone can start studying for it and even get the Security Plus, it is relatively challenging because of the amount of content that the Security Plus covers. But at the end of the day, the Security Plus is considered an entry level certification. So there's gonna be a lot of different resources that you can choose from, including things like textbooks, videos, practice tests, practice exams. There's gonna be so many different resources you can choose from to start studying for the Security Plus. I'll go and leave a link in the description below to the video about how I study for the Security Plus as well. Now, once you study for the Security Plus and you actually pass the exam, you can throw that on your resume and that's gonna be a huge boost for your resume when you're looking for entry level roles. Being able to get the Security Plus and having it on your resume is gonna show potential employers that you're willing to spend the time and discipline to study, improve yourself, and also learn different cybersecurity concepts. Now, with that being said, some of the main downsides with the Security Plus is the fact that there is so much to study. The Security Plus exam is only comprised of 90 questions and I was tested on a bunch of different concepts and a lot of the, the concepts that I did learn from studying for the Security Plus wasn't even asked for on the actual exam. In addition to that, the Security Plus exam voucher costs $392, but there are a couple different ways to circumvent this issue by doing it through your employer and getting reimbursed or doing it through your school or using a student discount. In addition to that, studying for the Security Plus makes you go over so many different terms, but you don't really gain any technical or practical skills that you could use in the workplace. You learn a lot of theory and really how things work, but you don't really get hands-on experience and practical skills. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the pros for the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. So this certificate was just released by Google recently, so it's gonna contain updated information. It also is backed by Google, which looks good on your resume as well. You don't need to buy any additional resources to take the certificate because pretty much everything is all in one within Coursera. The certificate itself is comprised of eight different courses that go over eight different concepts within cybersecurity. Throughout these courses, you'll see a bunch of different videos, readings, uh, different forums to talk to other users, also practice exams, uh, quizzes, and things of that nature. One thing that this certificate is different from the Security Plus is the fact that it gives you more of an overall view of cybersecurity. For example, throughout these courses, they'll talk about what it's like to actually work in cybersecurity, what does your day-to-day -day look like, and also prepare you for certain cybersecurity interviews. Some of the main benefits that I see from this certificate is that it's gonna be extremely cost-friendly. It's only $49 per month, and you only pay for what you use. So for example, if you finish the entire certificate in one month, you'll only pay $49. If you finish it in two months, it'll be about $100 and so on. Another main benefit is that it's extremely beginner friendly. Um, it's not as difficult as I would say for the Security Plus and also walks you through at a slower pace. Throughout taking this course, you'll also learn some practical skills like Linux, SQL, and Python. And these are gonna be important tools to have when entering your first entry-level cybersecurity job. And last but not least, the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate was created in order to prepare you for the Security Plus exam as well. So they'll give you a 30% off promo code coupon to use when buying your Security Plus exam voucher. So let's go ahead and talk about the main disadvantages of this certificate. First one is gonna be it's not as industry recognized as the Security Plus. First of all, because it's really brand new and also because it's relatively easy to complete. In addition to that, this certificate doesn't cover the same amount of cybersecurity concepts that the Security Plus does. So overall, to sum it all up and to give you guys my final recommendation, if you're someone who is adamant on getting into cybersecurity and you know that this industry is right for you, 
I'd say go straight into the Security Plus and start studying for this exam. I think the Security Plus exam is going to give you the best opportunity to break into the cybersecurity industry and get an entry level role. If you're someone who is completely new to cybersecurity and you have no idea whether or not you think cybersecurity is right for you, or if you're someone who needs to have a sort of a slower start and integration into cybersecurity to eventually branch into the Security Plus, I think the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is going to be perfect for you. So to kind of use an analogy on these two different certificates, the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate is kind of like a 101 class where it's introductory. Um, you don't need to have any prior experience. While Security Plus is a little bit more advanced, it's like a 200 or 300 level class that you might have to commit more time to, study for a longer period of time, and eventually pass the exam. So depending on where you are in your cybersecurity journey, whether you're brand new or you're considering going into cybersecurity, these are gonna be the main points that you need to consider when choosing which certificate to go ahead and get started. I hope this video gave you guys some value and some clarity on where to start your cybersecurity journey. But with that being said, guys, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys wanna take these courses, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below as well. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.